In just a few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can rank any website on the first page of Google in just 24 hours. With all this free traffic, you're going to be able to sell, promote and market whatever you like. So welcome to the channel. I make content around dropshipping, e-commerce, SEO and web development. So if you want more videos like this one, please subscribe to the channel. I publish content a couple of times every month. Okay. So to get our page ranking on the first page of Google, we're going to use two tools. Now, there's a whole bunch of tools out there that can help with ranking on, on Google from keyword analyzing to content improvement. But today, we're just gonna focus on the two tools that I've found to be the best and the easiest to use. The first one is SEMrush. And if you go into the description, there is a link that gives a free access to SEMrush. And with this access, once you have an account, you can do a number of searches a day. And if you're not using it very much, the free one is absolutely fine. If you're an agency or a marketer, you know, and you want to get big into that business, you might have to upgrade. But um, if you're just having a go and want to follow along with this, um, the free one should be absolutely fine. So in a moment, we'll log into SEMrush and I'm going to show you how it works for keyword research. The second tool we're going to use for the purpose of today's video is Surfer SEO. What Surfer SEO is going to do is help us improve the content so that we can be sure it's going to rank on Google. And it's going to tell us how many headings we need, how many paragraphs we need, how many images we need, the type of words we need, and we're going to get right into that. So I'm just going to step away for a sec. I'm going to log into both of these apps and we're going to get started. Okay, now we've logged into SEMrush we're going to do a bit of keyword research. What you want to be looking for is a keyword that has a low competition level or a low level of difficulty to rank for. So just to prove a point, if I chuck Nike in here, as you would expect, this is going to be very hard to have content to rank high on Google because there is so much competition around the word Nike. So huge volume, 100%, the most difficult word probably to rank for, or one of the, one of the most difficult. So we want to try to get a keyword difficulty below 30%. The keyword we're going to go after for today is ShipBob 3PL. ShipBob is a, an e-commerce platform that allows e-commerce stores to send inventory to one of their warehouses and they ship it out for you. So we're going to write an article around ShipBob 3PL and we're going to get it to rank on Google in less than 24 hours. So I've Previously done a little bit of research around this and the keyword I want to go after is ShipBob 3PL. So, so here we go. With ShipBob 3PL as our keyword, we've got a difficulty of under 30%. It's telling us it's easy and it's quite possible to rank for this keyword. Related keywords, we've got 406 of them and we've got volume of around 85,000 searches around, around these keywords. So this is what we're going to go after. And as you can see here, the cost per click, it's actually gone up since I've uh, started doing this work. It was around $20.18, but now it's showing $22.92. That's US. So if you were to run paid ads, this is the kind of cost you'd expect per click for this keyword. But what we're going to do is we're going to get this um, piece of content to rank on the first page of Google and all the clicks we get are going to be free. With that said, let's jump over to Surfer and do the next step in this. Okay, so now we're logged into Surfer SEO. There is a link in the description if you'd like to try it out yourself so you can follow along. And I think there is a free trial. I'm not 100% sure because I've been using it for a while. But anyway, once you're in here, you can head over to the content editor on the right. And once you click that, you'll see a screen that looks like this. Now. From the research we did in SEMrush, we know the keyword we're going after for our new content that we want to rank fast and on the first page. So what we do now is we just chuck in here, ShipBob 3PL and hit create content editor. Now when Surfer SEO has finished creating the content editor framework, it might take you know, a minute or so, but then you can click on it and we can go in and you should see a screen that looks a little bit like this. 
it's going to give you keyword as the h1 heading and then it's going to kick you off as some with a paragraph here the important things to see here is actually listed down the right hand side and what you're going to see is a content score and it's currently zero out of a hundred and you'll see when you hover over these things it's going to give you a bit of a guide so our goal is going to be to get this well into the green that might be a score over 69 or 70 something like that we're going to do that by following this content structure that surfer has given us so it's telling us that we need a quite a long article we need you know 58 to 70 headings uh, the number of paragraphs the images that type of thing also if you scroll down it's also going to start giving you all the keywords that top articles in this area include so it goes on and on and on and on you can have a look at headings kind of headings that um, you might want to use and also if you go up here to the outline um, this can start giving you some some guides for a little bit of content and what's appearing in other articles around ShipBob and 3PL services so there's a lot of information that's available to help with trying to pull an article together with unique content that is going to rank basically the goal is to get our content score well into the green and we do that by following the guide now I might not want to write an article that has four and a half thousand words so you actually can go into an area here and and adjust it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go away and write this article and I'm going to show you what it looks like when we're finished so once you've followed surface guide around the content structure doing all the words it recommends the headings the paragraphs the images and adding in the keywords that it recommended to you and you can see here now most of the words it's recommending are now green we've got a few reds and oranges there where we haven't quite hit, hit the mark but by majority I have added the words required according to surfer to get this content to rank very highly on on Google and you might notice here that the recommended word count is much lower so I did make some adjustments as you adjust the content either the lower the words it does tweak some of the other things so trying to give you your best outcome so now we've got a content score up in the green here we're on 76 and with all this done it is now time to copy this content and put it over onto our website and publish it okay so we've copied the content from surfer seo that was giving us a content score of around 76 and we have put that in and posted it on our website now we're not done there once we get it on the website we do have to make sure we update our h1 title tag and our meta description so that it will appear the way we want it and it also is a a ranking factor in, in Google is one of the, the points on the algorithm we want to make sure we get that right once we've got our title tag and description tags done and our content pasted in and, and looking good the next step we want to do is go into the Google search console if you're not familiar with it there are heaps of YouTube's on it maybe take a look what we want to do once we get into the Google search console is force this brand new page to be indexed so it will be indexed within and you know, maybe it's a week or a couple of weeks Google Will eventually find it and index it but if we want this to rank fast we want to force it into Google to go away and index it so it knows it's there and it can run the algorithm over it checking for the 200 plus ranking factors and it will place it where it sees fit so with that said the next step is to actually go back to surfer and we're going to run an audit process on this okay we're back in surfer now we're getting down to the good stuff we're going to see the uh, the results of all our hard work and some minor tweaks and we, we should be should be just about done so we go into surfer we click on audit we paste the URL of the website where we posted our new content so you can see here I've got the shipbob 3pl post so paste that in here and then and then hit create audit once that's done you can go into the audit results so we'll just do that now and you can see here We've got our shipbob 3 pl fulfillment which is our name of our post and our target keywords and if you look here we've got content score it's saying 84 no action required so if you open up the details here you can see for this piece of content that we've created we are basically equal to shipbob themselves in terms of ranking for this 
term and the words around it, which will bring us right up high on Google for many different terms associated with ShipBob 3PL. And then you can see the competitors. So there's another ShipBob article here, Shopify, Captera. Um, so we're with this piece of work we've done, which hasn't really taken that long, we should be ranking really high against all major competitors, particularly in, in Australia where, where this order is showing for. So if we go down a little bit, I don't get too concerned about the backlinks. It doesn't seem to have that big an impact on, on the results. The internal links, um, that's just the links between your own uh, content on your site. The terms to use. You can see here, this is it's suggesting you know, where I may be able to improve the article even further. So the first time you run this, you may not have all greens or mostly greens. Uh, might give you a whole bunch of red ones. It's gonna give you some things you might need to go away and, and look at. So what I do is I search on volume here to look at the kind of search numbers that are related to these kind of keywords. And I make sure pretty much that I've got green against all the large search keywords and phrases. When you write the content, it still has to make sense like it's been written by a human. You can't just jam words in everywhere just to get green ticks because the algorithm will also pick that up and say, look, this doesn't actually read right. Or worse still, when people do find it, if they don't actually read through the article, Google will pick up that people don't, don't actually fully scroll down and read through it. So it'll rate it. Uh, poorly for that as well. So make sure you get as many of the green as you can, but the content still needs to be quality content and appropriately written for the audience that you're targeting. You might have to go back and forth a few times. So every time you go back over to your website and you make some changes and you republish it, you can go back here and you press refresh and it'll go off and re-audit your site and give you the results again. That's, that's how you do it. In fact, there's been a minor tweak. It's saying 85, 85, so that's good. The other thing that's important here, if you know who your competitors are, you can adjust who you want to try to beat. So if you're in a local market and you want to beat, and you want to rank higher than certain other companies or pages, you can come in here and select them on and off so you can choose who you want to actually rank ahead of. So I've chosen you know, the, some of the world's biggest companies that have got content around this and I want to try to target being, being the best. Just to finish off on the audit page, you can go down further. It's going to tell you about your word count um, and how you're going. You can see I've got all green here. The exact words, mostly green. Looking pretty good there. Page structure, mostly green. It's looking pretty good. We've got enough H1, H2, paragraphs, etc. Title and meta description, they're spot on. We now have a, an article. It's a bit of an iterative process. You update the minor things that it's telling you here, do a refresh. And what you want to be targeting as we sort of repeated probably a couple of times here, you want to be getting in the top two here if you want to try to get onto that first page. The next step is to see where our page has ranked. Okay, just to finish this off, we jump over here to Google and we put in our search term, something around the ShipBob 3PL fulfillment that we're targeting. So we're going to go and say ShipBob 3PL fulfillment review 2022. And we'll just do a refresh on that. And there you have it, Nexus ShipBob 3PL fulfillment for e-commerce. So this actually ranked within 24 hours. Um, this video has been produced a couple of days later. So hence we've got five days there. And also interestingly enough, a video we did a couple of weeks ago is also ranking on the first page of Google, which is from YouTube. So the video is ranking as well. Totally different subject, but you can get videos to, to rank in search. Um, but that is our, our article. So we can also jump over and have a look at um, Bing. And if we just put, say, ShipBob 3PL review, we'll just do a quick refresh. And there it is. This is very impressive. Very impressive. So that's a wrap. We showed you how to do it and rank in 24 hours. Remember, if you want to do this yourself, grab yourself a SEMrush account. There is a link for free use in the description. Also, get yourself a Surfer SEO account. I'm pretty sure it comes with a free trial with the link we've got. And also, and probably the most importantly, if I have missed anything, join my ambitious private group and you can ask me anything. There is a link in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and thank you so much for watching.